Good afternoon, good afternoon. Nigel here from Heathcliff House. Anyway, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ramble on today. It's straight into it today, straight into it. So just thought I'd let you know um, about everything that is happening um, over this coming weekend, the bank holiday weekend, and the weekend after in and around the English Riviera here in our beautiful bay. Um, we still have um, a couple of rooms available for both weekends. So if you're looking to come down for the bank holiday, then um, or, or the air show the following week, then uh, yeah, yeah, please get in touch. You know the usual ways, 01803 201580 uk. So um, this weekend, the bank holiday weekend, lots and lots happening in and around the bay. Um, we start with uh, Bricks Fest, obviously, uh, which is an excellent festival that's been going on in Brixham that celebrates everything Brixham. And it's, you know, there's cooking demonstrations, there's arts and craft markets, there's vintage car rally competitions. Um, over that weekend as well is the uh, the Brixham Heritage Sailing Regatta. Oh, uh, anyone that wants to leave a comment, um, feel free at the bottom and uh, and I'll try and pick it up and, and, and come back to you um, if I don't. Uh, and also, please, at the end, if if you want to please please if you think anyone will find this content useful please share with all your friends it would be much appreciated so um yeah so there's a couple of things happening in brixham over the bank holiday weekend um then ah uh, as you know um torbay is the only urban uh, unesco geopark how cool is that oh that's in the world by the way um so uh, the UNESCO Geopark Festival kicks off 25th of May to 2nd of June. Um, there's all sorts of events happening in and across the bay, um, celebrating the, the history and, and the culture uh, 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 behind the Geopark. Um, there'll be a lot of stuff. There'll be things will be happening in Kent's Cavern, for example. Oh, they're, they're cinema. They do s s films in the caves. Is worth keep, Have a look on their website, uh, Kent's Cavern, films in the caves. They do some good stuff. Um so, yeah, you've got the UNESCO Geopark Festival. Um, uh, there's the Greenway Literary Festival kicking off on the 25th of May. That runs all the way through to the 9th of June. Um, everything Agatha Christie uh, related will be happening in and around Greenway. Lots of programmes, of, of, of workshops, talks and activities. Um, so if you're an Agatha fan... Uh, get down there. Uh, that is going to be some good fun. You've got the Dartington Food Fair happening on the 25th to the 27th of May. That's lovely for those that haven't been to the shops at Dartington. Get yourself down there. It's well worth a visit. Um, the Dartington Crystal have a have a have an outlet there. Um, there's a lovely little beer shop which is worth uh, worth a visit. Uh, that does all sorts of lovely little local brews and um, other all sorts of artisan uh, crafts going on as well. Um, so that's the flavour of this weekend. The following weekend is the biggie. Um, it's the third or is it the fourth Torbay Air Show? This is always good. It's heavily heavily. Um, uh, um, um, or say the, the RAF teams are heavily involved in this one. It is their first display of the summer. So the Red Arrows, this is where you get to see their new routine of the year. It's the first time they perform their new routine uh, in the UK. And, oh, and as an aside, um, you're not going to be able to see the Red Arrows that often uh, this year because shortly after uh, Torbay, and I'm not sure if they're doing any others before they go, they're off to North America for um, most of the summer. So if you want to see the Red Arrows this year, Torbay is the place to come. Um, oh, and a couple with that, you've got the um, the uh, is it the Typhoon um, display team, the Eurojet fighters, uh, and of course the Battle of Britain Memorial flight, which is the Lank, um, the, the Spitfires and the Hurricanes. And a couple of years ago, we watched out of our um, lounge window as they came straight down Tor Valley. It was wonderful. So, um, so there you go. That's the flavour of things happening over the next couple of weeks. Um, the weather is set fair by the look of it, so uh, I don't think there's any problems there at the moment. Uh, but remember to bring your sun cream because um, it's 38 degrees all year round and never rains. You know that. Um, so, as I said before, um, if you think anyone else will find this content useful, please, please, please feel free to share it with all your friends. Uh, and if you do 
want to come and see us and enjoy any of this stuff and make some wonderful memories for yourselves, give us a call 01803 211 580 or go to our website www.heathgifthouse.co.uk. I will try now and do a Facebook Live at the same time every week. Um, I'm, I'm going to try my damnedest, even though we're coming into a very, very busy season, so I may look a little pale in some of them. Um, but there we go. So on Wednesdays at around about 4, 4.30, um, I will be doing uh, a Facebook Live to give you a bit more information of what we've been up to and uh, things that are happening around the Bay. So, OK, thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, cheers, bye-bye.